Hi, let me show you how to, how to pair the uh, Android mobile device to an 8500 unit. Uh, first, just turn on the uh, TC55, uh, which is attached, mounted to the 8500 device. Uh, go to the settings section, turn the uh, Bluetooth on. Also, um, if the 8500 Bluetooth is not on, you just press the Bluetooth button for one second, turns on the Bluetooth. So now both Bluetooth uh, on this device is discoverable and it's on here. Just tap on Bluetooth here. Uh, as you will see this, uh, it's looking for the uh, devices. It's already found the uh, out of the 8500 device. As you will see, um, once you select the particular device here that is showing the status on the Bluetooth LED, it starts blinking faster. Once you once it is blinking fast, pull the yellow trigger to pair the device. And as you will see now in the paired device status, you will see the, the particular ID or the serial number of this reader, which is shown here at the bottom label. It's uh, the full serial number with the last two digits 98 showing up here in part of the uh, devices that we have paired. So that's completes the pairing, very simple process. The idea, the idea to pull the trigger is to ensure that there is only pairing between devices that are authorized access to a store personnel. So none of the external device can come and pair unless you have authorized access. So the additional action to pull the trigger uh, makes it safe and secure. One additional point to note here is the serial number at the bottom here of the uh, of the scanner is basically uh, can be also be used to scan with the mobile computer. So in, a, in essence, you could have an application that's running on this device that can just scan this barcode at the bottom to automatically pair these two devices together because it, the RFD 8500 along with the serial number forms the friendly Bluetooth MAC address component that will allow you to pair just like through the steps that we went through. So that's another application dependent application method by using the uh, scanner on a mobile computer to pair with the, uh, with the reader. So again, the, pr the process of pairing is very, very straightforward and simple. All right, now I'll show you the uh, pairing of the, uh, an iOS device with the 8500. So uh, simply, let me just mount the iOS device, I iPod to the, uh, out of the 8500. Turn the iOS device on, power, go to the settings page, I'm on the settings page here. Turn Bluetooth on. Now turn the Bluetooth on on the 8500 device by just pressing this for one second. As soon as this device is, as you will see, uh, it's looking for the uh, devices that are available. You already found the device. Uh, this is uh, 1295, which is the serial number of this device. 1295. Select that device. As you will notice, um, once that device is selected, it will start flashing fast. Press the uh, trigger button. As you will notice now, it's paired and the LED on the Bluetooth status is solid blue, which shows the paired status. Um, and now it's showing us in the paired status here on the screen. So that's again very simple to pair the two devices. Um, the trigger button allows you for an authorized access to this device when you pull the uh, trigger to pair these devices. Thank you.